Mohammad Siraj is living his dream as he is playing first World Cup for his country. His journey from the dusty Eidgah ground, nestled near his modest rented house in the first Lancer neighborhood, to the splendor of international cricket. He was born into a lower middle class family to parents Mohammad Ghus and Shabana Begum. Growing up, he was just another young boy with a tennis ball, charging into bowl on the crowded patch of the Eidgah ground. With a few scattered bricks serving as the makeshift wickets, he was among the countless teenagers with an undying passion and a big dream, but Siraj had something more, talent. Siraj's cricketing path has taken him from the bustling confines of a one-room rented house to the opulent Banjara Hills, where he currently resides in a sumptuous 22 crore mansion. Siraj's first income as a cricketer was 500 Indian rupees. He had played a club match under the captaincy of his uncle. He bagged nine wickets in the 25-over fixture. Impressed with his performance, his uncle rewarded him with 500 Indian rupees. Along the way, he met people who cared deeply about helping him develop into the powerful cricketer he is today. From his vegetable-selling childhood friend Mohammad Kaleem to his hardball cricket introducing coach Mabu Behmed to the likes of Bharat Arun and Virat Kohli, Siraj received unwavering support from the right people at the right times, and he soared like an eagle. His friend Kaleem recommended him to play for Charminar Cricket Club. But convincing Siraj to leave tennis ball cricket where he got regular prize money and to play hardball cricket was no easy task. At first on the fence, he declined the offer. It took a meeting with Kaleem and owner of Charminar Cricket Club and a little bit of incentive for Siraj to say yes. Owner of Charminar Cricket Club decided to pay Siraj 1,500 Indian rupees for the matches, which was better than 1,000 Indian rupees from the tennis ball cricket tournaments he was making. Siraj used to love batting earlier, but he started bowling later. At the Charminar Cricket Club, he started with a bang a five-wicket haul in a two-day league game and he went on to finish the season with 40-plus wickets prompting owner of Charminar Cricket Club to push his case for Hyderabad under-23 team convincing the team president and secretary to give the boy a look in. Siraj's life was a never-ending struggle away from the cricket field. His father, Mohammad Ghaus, was an auto rickshaw driver and his family's financial means were inadequate. When Siraj started missing state camp just because he did not have the money to travel. Siraj made his first appearance in the 2015-16 Ranji season for Hyderabad. However, he played a solitary game against services. He failed to impress and had to warm the bench for the remainder of the tournament. However, he was impressive in the 50 overs Vijay Hazare trophy. He then played for the Hyderabad U23 team. His coach Arjun Yadav helped him get better with his skills. In the 2016-17 Ranji Trophy, Mohammad Siraj finished as the highest wicket taker for Hyderabad with 41 wickets to his name at an average of 18.92. Siraj managed to get the attention of the franchise owners at the IPL auctions this year. Fierce bidding saw Siraj emerge as one of the top uncapped buys of the auctions. He was bought for 2.6 crore Indian rupees from his base price of 20 lakh by the Sunrisers Hyderabad in the auctions. Siraj's rise through the ranks landed him in the IPL nets, where VBS Lakshman noticed him. Bharat Arun, former India bowling coach and then recently appointed Hyderabad Ranji Trophy coach mentored the young bowler, polishing him from raw bowler to an aggressive world beater. He also was able to impress Virat Kohli in one of RCB's net sessions. Virat Kohli came to play for RCB vs SRH and even he insisted on facing Siraj more in the nets. And there he bowled two bounces to Kohli as well. Though he started with Sunrisers Hyderabad in 2018, his exploits in the Vijay Hazare Trophy helped him find a new home in the next season and that was Virat Kohli's Royal Challengers Bangalore and ever since then, there have been no turning backs for him. Though, he didn't get the same success, 11 wickets in 11 games at an economy of 8.95. The numbers only worsened in the 2019 season but King Kohli showed his faith in him and supported him. However, he made a comeback in IPL 2020 and gave amazing performances. Siraj is still remembered for his memorable spell in the game against Kolkata Knight Riders. He became the first bowler in IPL history to bowl two maiden overs and he ended with amazing figures. 
Siraj has become an integral part of Virat's RCB and has become a fan favorite. Siraj's father passed away on November 20, 2020 when he was in Australia. The star bowler couldn't return home for the funeral due to COVID-19 protocols. His father Mohammad Ghaus had died due to a lung ailment in Hyderabad on Friday. Mohammad Siraj only came to know the news of his father's death when he had finished the practice session at Sydney's Blacktown Oval. At that time, Team India was in the middle of a 14-day quarantine period and had been training in isolation on the outskirts of the city of Sydney after arriving in the country on November 13. A lot of credit has to be given to Virat Kohli for Siraj's rise. He's taken him into the stride, mentored him and given him that ammunition to become a good fast bowler. Coaches like Bharat Arun have been a great help to him right from his formative years in Hyderabad. But a lot of credit goes to Virat Kohli for his rise. Siraj has got great skill sets to go with great energy. He runs beautifully. He's like a dry sponge, always willing to learn and improve. Siraj's success has inspired many in his neighborhood to take cricket seriously and at a young age, he already has had a lasting impact, and now for him, it is time to realize his ultimate dream, win a World Cup for India.